we have was for those children. They just wanted it for criminal purposes. Yeah. And, and this is just an excuse. Well, joining us now is Graham Stewart, head of public sector at cybersecurity firm Checkpoint Software Technologies. Hello, Graham. Hi, Tony. Hi. Uh, is it becoming increasingly impossible to defend yourself against a determined hacker? It's getting harder and harder. If you take an, uh, someone like the NHS, which is a federated organization, you've got lots of different organizations part of that. Um, the cyber attackers have the time and the resources that, to just probe those defenses constantly and to come up with a way into those systems. It's getting really hard. And you can we absolutely uh, want to see people deploying the latest defenses. But we stop thousands of attacks every single day. And this this is becoming more and more prevalent as time goes by. But the, the, the mechanism of that protection, Graham, it's not as if, I guess, you can go after the protagonist, can you? If they're based, for example, in Russia, all you can do is, to use a football analogy, stand on the goal line trying to keep them out. Yep, and that's exactly right. So um, it's not down to, you know, Harris or NHS or anyone else to fight back against these people. You've just got to hold it off. As you say, stand on the goal line, keep the ball out and try your very best to maintain a, a, a business going forward. It's really tough out there. There's lots of organizations that are able to give you advice. So if you're worried about it, NCSC, National Cyber Security Center, there's some really good resources on their website if you're worried about this attack. Um, and there's there, there's a constant flow of update of information about this. But, yeah, this is a really tough place to be. And, and I, I guess another dilemma for businesses as well and organisations is what, happen when you are, when, what happens when you are, you are hacked. Because l l law enforcement uh, pretty much encourage everyone not to pay. They say that fuels these gangs and, the, and there are no guarantees. They won't publish the material anyway. So is there, a, is there an accepted practice if you're hacked? What should you do? So my, 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 my response, and, and in line with a lot of other people, is firstly, don't pay it. These people saying they're doing it for some great cause is a bit like guys knocking off uh, jewelers in Hatton Garden saying they're doing it for Ukraine. It's insane. Um, the, the, the key bit here is don't don't think about paying them back. You are just encouraging it. It's in line with with stuff that happened you know, with extortion in the 70s, with kidnapping and things like that. You can't pay these people. You're just going to make it worse. Uh, yeah, it's, it sounds like a no-win situation. Graham, listen, uh, great to talk to you. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Tony. Graham Stewart, Head of Public Sector at Cybersecurity Firm Checkpoint Software Technology. Software Technology.